Santa. Hello and welcome back to more Dangan Road about Trigger Happy Havoc! Sorry, I had to say it like that because Kiyotaka is now Kyo Ondo or something like that. I don't know what he's calling himself now. We'll just continue to call him Taka. I also hope to hang out with Taka, especially in this form because he's so fabulous. So let's see if that'll uh, be an option. Maybe he won't be catatonic this time. Mm, Taka. I've also realized I probably gave him the wrong item because uh, that the martial arts thing was probably for Sakura and we gave it to him. Yeah. What? You got something to say to me? Well, I got poop to say to you! Uh, maybe I should leave him alone. What? I can't hang out with him? Bullcrap. Yeah. Oh, screw this game. Just, mmm. Can't hang out with Kiyotaka? Mm mmm, mmm. All the nope. Well, I guess soccer is the next best bet. This is bad. I don't like this atmosphere. Hmm, should I talk to Sakura for a while? I like how he says that, he's like, Hmm, should I talk to her for a while or will she smash me into bits? Yeah, we'll spend some time with her. Are you saying you're ready for another lesson? Very well, prepare yourself and come with me. Sakura put me through a tough but rewarding training session. I can feel myself getting stronger. That's good, he's probably going to have to fight somebody off at some point. Sakura and I grew a little closer today. Damn right we would. But yeah, I'm a little upset because I gave away the, the martial arts thing that Sakura probably would have loved to have. The God of War charm. Like, I should have gave Kiyotaka this. Look at, look at that description. A pair of boxing gloves infused with a staggering amount of passion and effort. It screams Kiyotaka. Wearing them makes you want to throw a thousand cross counters. However, she probably won't like that. But I'm pretty sure her name means uh, Cherry Blossom or something along those lines, so... <laughs> the Emperor's Thong, I'm actually really tempted to give her that, because she probably is in control, or in control her buttocks. Being extremely muscular. Sorry about the interruption. Yeah, we know where that's going. That's probably going to our resident anime fan. The large fellow. Hifume, I almost forgot his name, and he has a very unique name. This is what I was thinking of giving Sakura. A collection of branches from a Sakura tree. In the language of flowers, cherry blossoms. Okay, so I was right, yeah. Represent a woman of superior beauty. That's why I thought uh, Sakura might like them, because she is a woman of superior beauty, after all. She is now best girl. I'll accept it with gratitude. So then. I never, I'll never forget this, Makoto. I get the impression that she liked it. That's good. I think. <laughs> my post-training break is the most relaxing time of my day. The sensation of your muscles cooling down after heating up during a workout is the only true reward. No matter how many times I experience it, I never get tired of it. Do you exercise every morning, Sakura? Mm. Unless there are some errands that I absolutely can't get out of, yes, I always do my training. If I don't, I feel restless for the rest of the day. I'm amazed you can do it every single day, doesn't it get tough? Huh. I can't say I've ever seen it as tough. It's all so that I can get stronger after all. I have to keep on getting stronger, because my destiny is to fight. Your destiny is to fight? Mm. From the day I was born, I've been fighting. Heaven sent me to live as its champion. That's one heck of a legend! My father was my master, and my every waking moment was spent with him learning to fight. As a child, I sparred with boxing champions and hit the mat with wrestling gold medalists. I was no match for them when I first began, of course. But before long, they were no match for me. You mean you actually started beating people like that? I'd say my specialty is solid stand-up. That transitions into grappling and a strong ground game. Essentially, it's a complete approach. Anything else just wouldn't make sense. You can only become the best by reaching the top of each discipline, then fusing them all together. Stand up fighting, grappling, and a strong ground game, that can only be. No, it's, it's mixed martial arts. You're basically a mixed martial arts? Bleh. 
You're basically a mixed martial arts fighter, right? Of course. That's right. The most effective real-world fighting style, which is why I choose it. I don't want to just be the best in competitions. I want to be the strongest human on Earth. I wouldn't bet against you, that's for sure. But aren't you already the best? Well. No, not yet. There is still someone I have to suppress. Really? Huh. Until I can beat him, I will become the strongest. I mean, there's someone out there stronger than you? Maybe I'll tell you about it another time, if the opportunity presents itself. Sakura didn't make a sound as she left. I honestly can't believe there's someone out there stronger than Sakura. Neither can I! Even if they're real, can they really be human? You never know. Oh, come on, I want an ability. I head back to my room for a little while. Good, we got more time. We essentially wasted the time with Kiyotaka because it won't let me hang out with the guy anymore. And nobody better come to my door. Good, he feels like he's wasting time standing around. Let's go hunt down Sakura again. <laughs> what, is she an animal? No. I shouldn't refer to her as... I shouldn't refer to finding her as hunting. <laughs> oh, oh well. Sakura is probably in the cafeteria from what we saw. Let's pop in there quickly. Pro or possibly with Asahina, like she usually is. Mm. I can almost feel the wind on my face. Hmm, should I talk to Sakura for a while? Hmm, yeah, I should. <laughs> I admire the almost greedy approach you take towards growing stronger. Now, I'd like to begin training you in my family's secret techniques. Ah! Sakura introduced me to her family's secrets. I feel like I've gotten stronger. A lot stronger. Sakura and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give her a present? Yes, definitely. I'll give her some more flowers. Seriously, I don't know what else to give her, because the biggest hint is her name, so giving the flower that represents her name would probably, you know, make her happy, like we found out already. What about these leaf coverings? A loin cloth meant to emphasize one's manliness. Its simple design features a single leaf overlaid on white cloth. That might be a Kiyotaka item. <laughs> At least I think it is. One of the most popular items from Gothic Lolita designer. Okay, yeah, we know who wants that. Strips of cotton cloth. They were once used commonly for bandages and underwear. They say when you wrap it around yourself, both body and soul become taut. That is, Sakura might like those, actually. Is it worth it, though? You know what? We'll give her, um... The other Sakura flower first? Her <laughs> rose whip! Yeah, we'll give her the other blossom first, and then we'll try to give her that. Mm. I'll accept it with gratitude. So then. I'll never forget this, Makoto. I get the present that she liked it, that is very good. I suppose I don't mind talking with you a little more. Really, Ben, can I ask you something? Mm. What is it? It's about what we were talking about before. You said there's someone out there stronger than you. Can I ask, is it a guy or a girl? Hmm. It's a man. The man that Sakura has to surpass. Maybe she's talking about her own teacher, which would mean... Your dad? We were talking about your dad, right? The family dojo has been passed down for generations to generation for the past three centuries. Three centuries? That's one heck of a history. I was born into my family as an only daughter. Yeah, I was born into my family as an only daughter. Male or female doesn't matter. It's my duty to protect our own legacy. And because I'm a woman, I must be even stronger than if I were a man. Huh. Some would say that a woman is incapable of becoming the strongest human alive. I want to prove them wrong. Which is why I subjected myself to such feverish training under my father's instruction. Surpassing my father was certainly important to me. Well. But that was just a matter of time. What do you mean? Hmm. I was 14 years old when I first beat my father in a sparring match. After that, I never lost to my father again. Wait, then, who's... who is it? Hmm. Yes, I've already surpassed my father. I don't believe it. Well, I'm not sure I did the right thing. My father also had the desire to become the strongest human alive. But I can't look back. I can only move forward and try to claim that title for myself. That is my destiny. Goodbye. Well, that's all for now. That was enjoyable. Goodbye. But in other words, Sakura left me standing there alone. Wait, hold on. 
ever did find out who could possibly be stronger than her? That's a good question. Did she avoid talking about it on purpose? So it wasn't her father. Skill breathing technique. Actually, let's look in to see what that does. After we were done, I decided to head back to my room for a while. Do we get more free time? Oh my gosh, please. No? No, we don't. That's saddening. But we will quickly look into the report card here. Sakura! Hmm, probably won't tell us what it does. Oh well. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. I have to let that play through every now and then. Monokuma's voice actor is the best. I'm actually wondering who that is. I'm pretty sure Nyegis is the voice actor for, uh, Aaron Yeager, I think? That's the only one I can say I know for sure. Or I'm fairly certain on. Nighttime already, I guess let's just go for the bed. Er, bleh, bleh. Tongue is not working today. Nighttime already, I just, uh, just go to bed. My tongue's like, no work! Uh. Happy New Day! I'm the kind of guy! I don't want to celebrate a new year! I want to celebrate the dawn of every new day! Because every new day deserves celebrating, so... Once again, Happy New Day! Okay, every uh, new day is a celebration. I can agree with that. Live your life to the fullest, Monokuma. Er... Actually, yeah, Monokuma. I don't know whether I'm... It's because I'm talking to a bear, so I'm thinking, huh? Good morning, everyone! Get ready I was gonna say, like, a real human, but... That's the reason I kind of stopped there. I'm like, wait a second. He's a bear. <laughs> I guess bears don't really care as much. Anyways, I'm going to quickly save and I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Let's head on out and see what everyone's up to in the cafeteria. Seriously, this game is going a lot faster than I thought it would. Already so many people got dead or, or gone. It's almost saddening. Taka and Kyoko are not here today. You know? Kyoko's still on guard duty, probably. Hmm. I have no idea about Taka. Damnation! Mm, may as well forget about that guy! So, um... You don't have to get so mad! You know? The rivals didn't... The rivals in love. What are you gonna do? Hmm. Mm, don't put me on the same wavelength as that! Oh. That is completely wrong. Don't put me on the same level as that! That virgin! I might catch his virginity! Don't bullshit us! You're a virgin too, Hifume! But... Nah, my guess is you're already infected. Huh? Wait, so you can really catch it? <laughs> Stop being vulgar, let's eat breakfast. Er, breakfast. But as soon as my hands approach my food... <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Chie, I mean, apparently that's her voice actor. Huh, that voice! The doors to the dining hall exploded open, and a figure expired. Expired appeared. Like I said, my voice is like, no, not today. So in the end. So it's you, Genocide Jack, and that's enough. Don't bother asking why we arrived at the same time. The answer should be obvious. Yep. I'll give you a hint. Uh -huh. I'm wearing red lingerie today. Huh? Um, I don't think anyone wanted to know that. Huh? Hold on a second, you. Huh? huh? What's your top power level? Is it 35? 22? 33? You start out big on top to try and look thinner down south. You Look at your melons! They're seriously... What? They're seriously gagurjuan! Do you drunk them in me... What the... F I'm sorry, I can't... I mean, keep a straight face to that. Look at your melons! They're seriously gargantuan! Do you dunk them in milk every day or night or something? Oh. You're starting to freak me out. No forgiveness! If you lay a finger on Hina, I will show you no mercy! <sighs> so, what do you want? Surely you're not here just to join us for breakfast. Naturally. Of course not. I came here to hear a story. A story? A story that nobody's bothered to tell me yet. 
Oh, he's talking about Alter Ego. Are you talking about Alter Ego? Sorry, we can't talk about that right now. What? Why not? Because of certain circumstances. Up till now, you haven't given a crap about anything. And now you're all concerned? I don't buy it, dude. It's all clear now. I've just made a decision. When we get out of here, I'm going to feed your body to vultures. <laughs> what kind of messed up dictator are you? What? But isn't this a democracy? Or would you exclude those who don't fit into your tyrannical... Or, tri tyrannical majority? That's not what we're doing. Fine. Well, whatever. If nothing else, tell me what's going on with Taka. When I saw him yesterday, I happened to notice something seemed off. So I was curious. Indeed. Taka has become utterly useless. Celeste, you don't have to say it like that. I see. Did his spirit collapse or something? Was he unable to withstand this environment? Those men who clothe themselves in the cheap fabric of justice are often the first to fall. <laughs> but perhaps that will make things all the more interesting. Interesting? Such ignorance. Let me leave you with a bit of advice. Don't come to rely on false... Camarade? Or camaraderie. Okay, there we go. I didn't even read that properly. Camaraderie. Or you'll reap its bitter reward. What the heck? That's why you came? To give us that amazing advice? <laughs> it seems I am unwelcome here. Then I will grant you your desire and remove myself. Mm, yes, yes. yes! Let's get out of here! Stop talking. Oh god, that voice. This killed my throat. You don't need to come with me. Yep. You don't have to play hard to get, mister! Master, what? What's, what the fuck is going on with those two? You don't have to play hard to get, master! You can just play hard! Hm. That doesn't make any sense. Yokia started to slowly back into the room. He started picking up speed, and as soon as he's... <laughs> he started to pick up speed, and as soon he was sprinting out of the dining hall to try and run from that. He ran away! And now he's running! Hard to get! I see! Wait, wait, wait! Oh my god! That's too good! Um. So, so at the end there... What was that all about? Uh, um... Just now, Byakuya was like... Um... Maybe he's like the mean guy who starts acting different and gets all flusher when things change! Hmm... I guess so. Huh! <laughs> Okay. Those of us left in the dining hall, finished our uh, breakfast, and then went back to our rooms. That was strange. I'll, I'll give Byakuya that. That was pretty strange. Hmm, what should I do today? More free time, of course. I'm very tempted to go hang out with Sakura again. We might as well go uh, spend those Monokuma coins we have, but I, I think I'll do that later on. So we have enough gifts for at least one more hangout. So let us go find Sakura. I kind of want to figure out who's stronger than her. That's the main reason she got me really interested now. I also want to hang out with Kyoko and Hifume. But Kyoko's kind of a blank book, I don't know much about her. Hifume, on the other hand, we know what to give him. Well, we at least have two of them. We had two uh, Sakura bouquets, I guess. So I'll give her the other thing now. As soon as I find her, that is. Erm. Um, I don't know where she ran off to, though. So finding her will be the challenge. Sakura! Where are you? Oh, not here. Oh, no, there she is here again. Alright, purple hallway. I'm sorry. Sorry, but I don't have any progress to report. I haven't found a way out. I haven't solved any of the mysteries of his school. Hmm, should I talk to... S hmm, should I? Yeah. Yeah, I will. So then. I just got done exercising. Now would be a good time for a break. Would you like to get something to drink and talk for a bit? Damn right we would. Sakura and I sat down for tea and a calm, relaxing conversation. Definitely. Alrighty then, I think we we had one thing she might like. I'll have to find it again. Fresh bindings. What? Uh, are you sure I can have something so valuable? M Makoto, I... So then... Since we've already talked so much, it's okay to talk a little more, right? 
Oh, they're so valuable. Okay, okay, yeah, it's, it's fine. I don't think I'll be gushing blood anytime soon. Seeing Sakura so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Hey. You know, Makoto, there is something that's been concerning me. What? Hmm. There's... This school has all kind of exercise equipment, which is great. But it still doesn't offer everything I need to complete my training. I feel like I'm getting weaker by the day. <sighs> I'm supposed to just accept that? Accept my anthropy? I, I can't do that. If something doesn't change, I'll... I'll... It's okay, Sakura. Just hang in there. I know how important you must, or patient you must feel, but you can't rush these things. But when you say it doesn't have everything you need to complete your training, what do you mean? Of course. Well, I can't say I'm a huge fan of modern training techniques, which rely mainly on machinery. That's good for building muscle mass, but that doesn't necessarily translate to actual strength. More muscle is better, of course, but you also need to know how to use it. And if you're not used to it, pushing your muscles too hard can lead to injury. There are seven, or there are even some world-class wrestlers who only build muscle by climbing ropes and things like that. Hmm. In mixed martial arts, speed, agility, and endurance are all necessary parts of total body coordination. If that's your goal. You can't just focus on one aspect of your training. For example, kipping pull-ups can train one area, while power training equipment works multiple areas. Hmm. Are you listening? Hmm, oh yes. Yes, absolutely. Got it, right. Huh. Wait, free training is an option, sure. But power training is a much greater challenge. I've had my own training method ever since I was a little child. For example, I'll take an old tire and hit it with everything I had. Are you still listening? Yes, I am! So then... So, what did I say? What did I use to hit that tire I mentioned? What, are you sure you said it? Haha, <laughs> like I said! Or Makoto said, I don't believe she said. Um... <laughs> a hammer? She said she doesn't train one area, which would be a fist? I think I heard stories about people using giant hammers for training like that. Of course. Exactly so, I've been doing that since childhood. It's extremely good for your core. That kind of thing is impossible here. So in the end... I can feel myself growing weaker. You have to endure it. Enduring this kind of thing is part of being strong, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I think. For now, I should focus on training my mind. Mm -hmm. Hmm. You've taught me something today, Makoto. The importance of endurance. Well, I mean, I wouldn't call that teaching per se. <laughs> Sorry for making you listen to me complain. But I feel better now. I can handle this. I'm glad I talked to you. I'll find a way to repair you that favor. Sakura left, moving quickly for her size. So I guess I helped her. That's good. I'm glad to see she's starting to trust me a little more. Maybe she'll tell me about that guy. Thank you for the skill point. After we were done, I decided to head back to my room for a while. Please be more free time. One more hangout session should get me a... Should get me another rank up, hopefully. I still have some time. Yes! I can't just sit around doing nothing. I should go find something to do. Anyways, now that we've saved, I've been looking for the items here, so I'm just thinking of tr or trying to think of something that Sakura may like. And that's the hard part here. She probably won't like the Rose Whip. That'd be a little weird. All of a sudden, just pull a weapon like, Hey, Sakura, you want a whip? She might hit me with it. Probably not the Moon Rock. Rock taken from the Sea of Tranquility. On the moon by the astronauts. On Apollo 11? Really? Its composition is apparently unusual for where it was found. That's interesting, that's not what she wants, though. That much is pretty obvious. Maiden's handbag? No. Mature game designed for the fun plane. Vice, sacred sp tree sprig. Branch from a... Sakaki tree? Commonly used in Shinto rituals. It serves as a connection between humans and the gods. Pumens? Or Pumens, which is from a candle bot by the description there. Novelist fountain pen. Chin drill, a fashion accessory that allows you to equip the jill. What? Who would want to drill on their chin? Spiral energy. Is this a reference to Gurren Lagan? Come on. 
Jesus! Spiral energy. We all know that one. Anyone that's watched anime anyways. Eh, I don't think any of them want reminders of dead people, so... Or is that... Actually, Hirotaka really might like... The crazy Diamond. I think that says Diamond. Like, Dia is in the spell from Persona. Diamond. Anyways, proof that you've cleared Chapter 2. It's Mondo's old trench coat, which has the name of the country's greatest biker gang leader embroidered on it. I might actually try to give that to him if it lets me hang out with him. So there, there may be that, but I think we'll finish off, uh, or at least attempt to what we have going of Sakura before we do that. Don't want to waste my time, after all. Especially since, uh, subscribers said that we can get two skills per person. So yeah, let's go to the dining hall and see Sakura then. Off we go! Before that, however, I am going to go to the Monokuma machine and spend some coins, so I'll be right back. And we're back! You know what I'm gonna do today, actually, is I'm gonna go find Sakura, or not today, now that we've finished going to the machine. I didn't spend all my coins, but I did get a fair few new items. I was trying to get repeats, but I'm gonna make Sakura feel like a woman. I'm gonna give her a flower. Mm. Hello, did you need something? Hmm, should I talk to Sakura for a while? Yes, yes we will. I just got done exercising, now would be a good time for a break. Would you like to get something to drink and talk for a bit? Damn right we would. I already said I wouldn't be reading those over again, but I am by mistake. Damn right we would. I was really tempted to give her the thong and see what she said, but uh, I decided with my better judgment, judgment against it. Don't need to be smashed into a billion pieces. As soon as I find the rose thing. That's what I'm gonna try giving her this time. Rose in Vertro. Or is it? Vitro? I think it's Vitro. A small rose stored inside a test tube. That's good for both hellos and farewells. In the language of flowers, a red rose means passionate to love. What? I I've been looking everywhere for this. How did you. What? Really? I thought Sakura would be a good thing because of her name, but flowers too? I should have known. You're quite a mysterious man, Makoto. Seeing Sakura so pleased with something you gave her makes me happy. Hey. Hmm. I suppose I can share this with you. Hmm? Share what? Huh. The story of the man who is stronger than even me. What? Hmm. I've never told anyone about this before, but I think I can tell you. Whoa, so there's someone out there even stronger than you? Hmm. The truth is, I have a lifelong rival. He only fights in underground terminants which is why nobody knows about him. But he is truly the strongest man on the planet. I faced him in battle after battle, and lost every single time. H he's that strong? However... These days, fighting has become its own science, in a way. People suited to it? It evolved... er... People studied it? It evolved, and eventually it was established as a formal sport. The idea of being invincible disappeared. Whoever develops the next great technique becomes the best. Well. But even in this modern era, he never used that kind of scientific approach. His only teacher is real combat. He laughs in the face of combat sports. No one can even come close to him. Martial arts rely on a certain amount of luck. A lucky punch, a misstep, can decide who wins. But none of that matters to him. He never loses. There's no strategy that can beat him. Many have studied him all have lost. Is this guy really human? Mm. His name is Kenshiro. Kenshiro? What? Don't tell me this is the Fist of the North Star reference. Oh my gosh, if this is, that'll be that awesome. As he described to me, he inherited what he called the in ancient assassination art. Assassination art? He sounds super dangerous. Well. And the story doesn't end there. We hear what I have to say and not to laugh? Laugh? Why would I laugh? <clears throat> Just looking at your face. I can tell you'll laugh. Huh? So in the end. Please, give me some more time. I need to gather my thoughts. But, but. I'm sorry. Please, try to understand. Even I, too, have the heart of a woman. Aww. Okay, Sakura, the heart of a woman. Skill tranquility. I still want one more hangout session. Please say I get one more sesh. Feeling, or feeling generally confused, I went back to my room. 
We can't forget her feelings, she is a female after all. Oh, Huh? There's something by the door. By the door? Which door? Oh, there's a little note. This piece of paper. It looks like someone must have slipped it under my door. Meet in the dining hall. The handwriting is really good. But to want to meet up so suddenly. Who wrote it? And why? What's the point of calling me out like this? I'm kind of nervous, but there's no way I can't check it out now. And we'll check it out next episode. Anyways, if you enjoyed the episode, please do leave a like and maybe a comment to show your support. And I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Dinganron for Trigger Happy Havoc! Peace out, Meisters. And let me know if you like that.